Because I'm looking at the time, it's 7 to 20 tonight. There are some items of which also have members in the audience, and there's also a closed session that we need to accomplish. Um, so, of course, this is always at the discretion of the board. Um, I'm wondering whether 9B you would consider deferring until our meeting on October 22nd as it relates to budget. Deferring 9C until November 5th, which is our next regularly scheduled board meeting. Taking up items D, E, and F. And um, I don't need to act on tonight for the purposes of the upcoming election. And I don't age, which I would presume would be a relatively good vote. And I just, um, okay, um, only a suggestion. Sure. And I wanted just to add that I did send, um, I spoke with our two um, trustees, board members who are uh, currently the by board member representatives uh, about asking the school district to come at their next meeting to just present um, the cost explanations and the about the survey that has gone out so we have a better understanding of we both tax the same body and so we have deferred maintenances they have deferred maintenances in over a five-year period what is that going to look like so just to have those explorations um, and, and they said they pulled over the cost breakdown when I met with them and I was going to share it but I get it so is Anyways, that might be an item that appears on November 5th. I would make a motion um, to alter the agenda um, the way that the Bill Manager, you all suggested. To defer item to, um, 9B until October 22nd, the second special meeting, and to defer item 9C until November 5th, which is our next regular list of meeting. <laughs> all right, Chesty Warren. So we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. And now the clerk will tell me which one I go to. <laughs> oh, oh, we're going to take a break. Okay, sorry. Oh, we will take a, we will recess. Um, it's 926 and we'll return by 935. If not so. Um, I'd like to reconvene the village board meeting. It is 9.34 and our next agenda item is um, to consider the service agreement with Compost Crusader to perform organics collection program. Mr. Burkhart. Thank you. Uh, items D, E, and F are, are all pretty much the similar topic. Uh, the memo, I try to incorporate them all together. Uh, the service agreement that is proposed in front of you is as drafted. Um, you know, if there's any questions, let me know. But Attorney Bear reviewed it, um, and uh, Compost Crusader reviewed it. The subsidy for item 9E or new business letter E has no impact um, on the service agreement. That should be separate. So I don't worry if you take you know the approval of the service agreement. I don't think that would have any impact on the subsidy on what you decide to do there. Can I ask a question about that though? Yes. If we didn't want the subsidy, if, if we want no subsidy and the board majority votes for subsidy, that could influence your vote on whether you took the contract. I mean, right. it could, I mean, it could. So, so do we just yeah. take the subsidy first? I don't, I don't know. It, it, but go ahead. Whatever you like. So but, but just know that for how we wrote the service agreement, that's. It, it's not so if we ever wanted to change the village subsidy it's not like we would have to amend the service agreement maybe that's a better way to for me to articulate it and then we do depending on what you end up deciding with the cards we do have a resolution in place um, to amend the fee schedule or to purchase either a cart or purchase a cart and or, or sorry either purchase the cart um, and the replacement of the cart so that's the third item can I ask one other question? Sorry, procedurally. Would it be beneficial for us to make one motion with the th with what board, whatever, make a motion, approve the contract with the carts and the CP, and if you don't like that combination, you vote no? Or do you really? I just separated them because I know in the past when I bring multiple things, I get the question of can we separate them? So I was trying to accommodate that, but you. you can do it I'm however just, you'd like. Okay. okay. So, thank you. Uh, are you done? Yes. Um, 
Nathan, because I, I am currently in the pilot program. Um, should I recuse myself from the subsidy oh, one? I mean, it's not oh, a lot of money, but you know, if it's something I would have to pay or not pay for. <laughs> How much is there? Is there a dollar? I know, I thought it was 10000 No. Well, it's not, you're not voting to. Uh, I'm voting whether to give myself a subsidy or not. You know. I'm going to vote against it. So it's I not like a contract, <laughs> though, where it's, yeah, you it's, go to your firm. It's more of a you're doing. Uh, I was well, I guess you, you, you certainly always, if, if you feel that there would be the appearance of impropriety, that yeah. someone would think that that would be inappropriate, you know, you, you certainly have the right to accuse yourself on it. Now, how much is the subsidy for a person? Um, well, right now it's currently 225 a month. I, I think with how we have it programmed, it could be either less or no subsidy. Depending on how you that's that's, that's even such even a small less, amount. That's even less than the threshold for um, certain things that's related to what you can accept as a public okay. So okay. I don't. I think I would. I would probably call it de minimis. Um, okay. I could. I could look it up uh, and do some more research on it. But again, there's some thresholds below which. You can accept, you know, things as even as a municipal um, official. Okay. I think that would probably constitute a new kind of something. If we felt that it was that you could uh, separate that and vote on it for the good of the village, then we should have Okay. Good question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did you have anything else you wanted to add? No, I don't think so. I think the number cuts are covered, so. Anybody have any questions? Um, can you just summarize for me? Yeah. <laughs> so this is at the end of the packet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm no, sorry I've never not read anything, but. <laughs> um, well, the service agreement is pretty basic. I mean, it, it just covers the fact that we have a contractual agreement with Compost Crusader to provide contracted services for those that select to participate in the program. Um, and during their proposal, they outline all the rates depending on what the participation levels are. The more people that we have participate, the smaller the rates are for the participants. Um, there's some uh, public event components that we would try to ask them to kind of lead. Um,